We have a daughter, a daughter in Jesus Christ. That testimony should be tomorrow. This one, let me use this one to, to round up for now. Every other testimony should be tomorrow. Tomorrow. Be, tell all the people down there with testimony to go for testimony interview. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Susan, I say, Oh, you are worthy, Lord. Oh, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Oh, miracle work has been done. Oh, my young Lord, you are. Susan, I say, You are worthy, Lord. 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 You see you, you must testify. I don't know the problem that brought you here, except the Lord revealed them to me. But assurance I'm giving to you, no matter where you have gone over the years before coming here, here is the last bus stop. <laughs> and I will hear your testimony. Is <laughs> see you. The power that says you will not move forward. That power, whatever they have done, and wherever you are connected to that power, in the name of Jesus, I disconnect you. <laughs> Holy Ghost, go round the congregation. Any spirit that enter their body, I refuse that they, that they should make progress in life. That they will marry or have children or be healthy. Any spirit. Working against their progress, against their future, against their career. Spirit husband. <laughs> oh yeah, cash fire. Pack your load quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh yeah, come out. Quickly. Enter no more. Quickly. Quickly. Oh yeah. Stubborn spirit husband. <laughs> cash fire. Wherever they tie you and that spirit, I lose you. Spirit of backwardness. Spirit of poverty. Spirit of untimely death. Python spirit. Spirit of cause. Cash fire! <laughs> oh, just watch out. Watch out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. There are many. There are many. You are going to see what the Lord will do there. It's thorough deliverance. Thorough clearance. Clearance of oppression. So my, my people will have their need met. So that you go home with testimonies. 
Oh yeah. Spirit husband, I torment you. I torment you by fire. Fire, fire, fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost thunder. Holy Ghost fire. Marine spirits. Witchcraft spirits. Unclean spirits. Spirit wife. Familiar spirits. Cash fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Queen. Answer your name, catch fire, catch fire. Holy Ghost fire, 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 Cascataya, Maruski Tena, Holy Ghost fire, thunder. I paralyze your power, I paralyze your kingdom, I paralyze you, catch fire. Marine spirit, familiar spirit, ancestral spirit, witchcraft spirit, spirit of untimely dead, catch fire, come out, holy ghost fire. Spirit of backwardness, spirit of rising and falling, you have no right over my people. You must go. You must go. Oh yeah, you serpent, you snake, you snake. Catch fire, catch fire. You marry spirits. Holy Ghost. Spirit of untimely death. Oh just watch out. Don't enter anybody. Spirit of untimely the enter fire. Spirit of poverty. Spirit of backwardness. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Unclean spirits. Witchcraft spirits. Marine spirits. Familiar spirits. Sedosi spirits. Catch fire. Wherever they tie your soul, tie your future, wherever any kingdom or power sitting on you, or call to marine kingdom, in the name of Jesus, I lose you. Or show me a sign. Lose them, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring it out. Wherever they put you in spiritual prison and nothing works for you again, I destroy that prison. I bring you out in Jesus' name. Be free, be free. Any man or woman a tie do in the heart. He doesn't want to see your progress. Today, the arrow will go back to sender. You will lose and be set free. Any person be wishing you and laughing at you and seeing everything you are doing going down, down. Today, I lose you. I return the arrow back to send that be free in Jesus' name. Peace. Something great is taking place. That heavy load you are carrying up and down. And they have built the house in your body. I command that load to be uprooted now. Fire. Fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, thunder, fire, Holy Ghost thunder, fire, be loose. Every power that your father worshipped, every spirit that your forefathers worshipped, and they're making a demand from you. And because of the demand, they are losing things and losing life. 
you are family now i present the blood of jesus to them and i secure your freedom i lose you in jesus name holy ghost fire god show me a sign go to the villages go to all the altar evil altar wherever they submitted their name any river any ocean any street any temple loose i send thunder 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 and fire thunder and fire upon your family altar thunder and fire wherever your name is mentioned thunder fire i come on loose 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 let your womb be loose let your head be loose let your prosperity be loose father show them a sign holy ghost fire 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 Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. I paralyze that power. Cash fire. There is power. There is power. There is power in the name. Oh Jesus There is power deliverance power the wonder walking power in the name of Jesus Father, by the authority in the name of Jesus, everyone here present must be saved, must deliver, must be loose. And as I count seven, wherever the initiated or bound, let them be loose. Wherever they are calling their name in the midnight, any shrine, any temple, any altar, let them be disconnected. <laughs> Anywhere they are sitting upon their prosperity, upon their future, upon their career, let them be delivered. <laughs> As I count seven, wherever they are sitting on your marriage, that you will not marry, you will not have children, you will not live long, you must fulfill your years. As I can't now, you must be free. One. Watch us, watch out. So many of them, watch out. Watch out. That your womb is loose. That your marriage is loose. That your career is loose. Loose, 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 loose. To loose. I declare sound head for you. Prosperity for you. Somebody here, that mark of failure mark of evil following you I cancel it I replace it with blessings mark of blessing mark of blessing mark of blessing three loose four loose five loose six loose seven loose Watch and see what is happening there. A lot of deliverance, great one, great deliverance, great one. K. 
King Kong, fight power, fight power. King Kong, come by power, by power. King Kong, come by power, oh, the Holy Ghost. King Kong, come by power, oh, by power. Sing it. King Kong, come by power, oh, the Holy Ghost. King Kong come by power, oh by power. King Kong come by power, oh the Holy Ghost. King Kong come by power, oh by power. King Kong come by power, oh the Holy Ghost. Oh my power. King Kong come by power, oh my power. King Kong come by power, oh the Holy Ghost. Amen. Precious Daddy, I stand here by your authority. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the principalities and powers. I bind the fallen angels. I bind the marine spirit and all the evil spirits. I change them fathers of fire. I cast them to abyss in Jesus' name. And I pray for these ones. Father, by your authority, I lose them. I set them free. And I pray that wherever that sending the evil, I return it back to sender. And I command those evil projections be destroyed in Jesus' name. And I claim their spirit, their soul, their body for Jesus. I decree that from henceforth, those spirits shall never enter their body. They shall never be comfortable in the body anymore. I command all of them evacuated in Jesus' name. Daddy, this is the day to meet the need of the needy. And I present everyone present here now that going home with testimony. The woman of hypertitis B, I cancel it for you. The person also having stomach, terrible stomach problem, I cancel it for you. And you also, for some time here, you have been coughing terribly, I cancel that cough. Be healed in Jesus' name. The typhoid, fever, malaria, parasite, the I bitterness of mouth, I cancel it in Jesus' name. A loss of appetite. And that person that is getting weaker and weaker, you can't breathe well, I cancel that sickness. I return it back to send that in Jesus' name. And that spiritual poison by what you ate in the night. Whatsoever that is circulating in your body, causing shortness of blood, causing weakness and pains, I cancel and remove them in Jesus' name. That 13 years of barrenness, I cancel it. And I command and decree that this month we are entering. You will not see your period. Carry your baby in Jesus' name. That your business, they are blocked here and there. Taking it to many kingdoms. And walking against that business. And I say, come and have your way. Let me see. 
In the name of Jesus, I destroy the places that take in the name of God. And I release your business. I command it to prosper in Jesus' name. That sleeplessness, I cancel it. That forgetfulness, I cancel it. That many years of unemployment, I break the yoke today. Oh, love me the need of my people in Jesus' name. All that cobwebs, I cancel them. Lord, I pray for this person wherever that enemies are ganging up now. Planning what to do to somebody like that step into choosing. I command them to scatter. I declare judgment upon them in Jesus' name. Untimely death, I return back to sender. Father, bless my people. He, my people. Deliver my people. Fight for my people. Meet the need of everyone in Jesus' name. As I speak your word, Holy Ghost, take over. Speak to everyone, bless everyone. I pray at the end as I say, Amen. Let the container of blessings from heaven, let it be opened. Let the distribution be made. Father, intervene in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, take over. Oh, a lot of containers are here. Your spare parts is there. Your need is there. The children are there. The money is there. Everything you are looking for is in that container. You are going home with the blessing today, tomorrow in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? Say it again. One more time. And this is amen in heaven. Sit down and open your Bible. I'm going to be very brief. Turn your Bible to Psalm. Chapter 72. Psalm 72, and reading from verse 12. Please open your Bible. Remember, the containers are here of all your need. At the time I say amen, there will be a distribution. Everybody must go with your need. Chapter 72, verse 12. For he shall deliver the needy when he crieth, the poor also, and him that had no help. He shall spare the poor and needy. And shall save the souls of the needy, and he shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. Now look at Psalm 23, verse 1. Psalm chapter 23. Verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 25, Matthew chapter 6, I read from verse 25. 
that I son to you. Take no thought for your life. What you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body. What you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap. Nor gather into bands, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take you thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I son to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not added like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not more, much more clothe ye, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought. Saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or where with us shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For our Heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And so from this chapter some verses, I'm bringing to you the team. Hope for the needy, part one. Hope for the needy, part one. Our God and Father who art in heaven, the Father of the fatherless, the husband of the widow, the hope of the orphans, the hope of sinners in need of salvation, the hope of the poor, the hope of the barren, the hope of as many that are poor have nothing. Today, you will break every yoke of the enemy over your lives and he will restore everything we have lost from the beginning of this world to the first man and woman and he will bring us into the fullness of his glory his blessings again in Jesus name remember he's almighty is all powerful. Is our and Omega. Is the beginning and the end. Is omnipotent God. What he cannot do does not exist. Today he will do something in your life. Tomorrow there shall be a perfection. I don't know what you are going through. It's not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Spirit of the Lord. As I speak concerning you, something remarkable will take place in your life. Yeah. If you believe it, say amen. Yeah. So he has come. He is the hope for the needy. If you look at your Bible in John chapter 10, verse 10, look at verse 10. I want to show you something. John chapter 10, reading verse 10. And it reads. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not, but to steal and to kill and to destroy. Look at the letter stanza. I am come. That is the hope for the needy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. He has come. I say he has come to give you and your entire household abundance of life. So today and tomorrow shall mark the end of all satanic problems in your life. 
you will go home with testimonies. So in this message, we are going to consider the flowings of headings. One, the reasons and our hope. Two, God's promises to the needy and the benefits. Let's go to point number one, the reasons and our hope. When God created the first man and woman, he gave them everything in the Garden of Eden and they had dominion over all. In Genesis chapter 1 and verse Genesis chapter 1 from verse 26. Let's read. Genesis chapter 1. Reading verse 26 at the very beginning. In verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image. After our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth. And subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the earth, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I've given every green herb for meat, and it was so. Let's stop there. At the very beginning, God, our Father, having created the first man, the first woman, our parents, Adam and Eve, He handed them over everything. In the garden of Adam. They were not suffering. They were not sickly. They were not in want of anything. They were always with God. They were enjoying the garden of Adam. I want to let you know they were having dominion over all. But when they sinned against the most high God, when they disobeyed God and Die spiritually. They lost the divine nature of God. They were driven out of the garden of Eden to suffer without hope. The fall of man brought the problem we are suffering and the need we are having today. So, after their fall, they were driven away from the garden of Eden by God Almighty. If you look at the Bible in Genesis chapter 1, and um, let's please, let's go to chapter 3 because of that chapter 3. Let's see. Chapter 3, I read from verse 6 because of our time. But when you go home, you read from verse 1. I'm reading from verse 6. And it says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did it, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did it. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are thou? And he said, I heard the voice, thy voice in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. Can you imagine? The man and woman whom God created for his own pleasure, whom God visited from time to time to have fellowship with them, Satan had deceived them. 
and they sin against God, disobey God. And when God came to have fellowship, they were hiding. And God was looking for them. And that was the beginning of the problem of man. Hiding from God. Disobedience, sin. And if you look at your Bible, immediately after that fall, God Almighty drove them out of the Garden of Eden, having place cause for the evil they have done. And if you look at Genesis chapter 3, verse 23, chapter 3, verse 23, let's see it. Let's read. Therefore, the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to dig the ground from when he was taken. So he drove out the man and placed at the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword, which turned everywhere to keep the way of the tree of life. You can see that immediately after that fall, they were driven away from the Garden of Eden. They were no longer having the privileges of all things in the Garden of Eden. Rather, they started suffering without hope. But it's need for you to understand that the Bible made reference to what happened in that Garden of Eden in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. Please open your Bible. Let's read it. It says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. They have sinned. May them to be limited. May them to be separated from the glory of God, God's divine nature, and all the blessings the Garden of Eden, they lost everything. And the Bible said that all have sinned, including whoever that came from Adam and Eve, because every human being, born of man and a woman, came from there. Brethren, sin made a man who had all things in the beginning, the very beginning, to be in great need. And become poor and barren. And as a result of the work of the devil, that was how man became hopeless, poor, in great need. Because of the devil. The Bible said in John chapter 10, verse 10, eh, for the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to keep, and to destroy. Devil came and destroyed the relationship. Kill man spiritually left him hopeless. That's the devil. The devil did this as a reta as retaliation because he was cast out of heaven, never to enter anymore. He was angry that he was cast out of heaven into the earth. And so he was looking for retaliation, how to fight God. And he couldn't get God. He fought the image of God. But that is man. He fought man and separated the relationship with God Almighty. So he does not want human beings to enter heaven, but to be with him in hell fire forever. God forbid. Praise the Lord. Devil did it. He caused man to sin so that man will be with him in hell fire forever. But it shall not walk. Are you hearing me? If you look at Revelation 21 verse 8. Revelation 21. I read verse 8. Look at your Bible. Revelation 21 verse 8. And it says, But a fearful and unbelieving and abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burn with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. As many that shall remain in this sin and die without repentance, they shall be cast into hell fire to spend eternity with Satan. I pray it shall never be our portion. 
devil did that. And I want to let you know, the Lord being the hope for the needy, he will give us solution. If you look at Revelation chapter 12, let's see when that evil was carried out. How Satan was cast down and how he became enemy of man. How he fought man. In chapter 12 verse 7, Revelation chapter 12, and it reads, And there was a war in heaven. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought again, fought, fought and his angels and prevail not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, who deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night, and overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto the dead. Therefore, rejoice in heaven, he that dwell in them. Woe to the habitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having a great wrath, because he knoweth and he hath but a short time. The point is, he caused war in heaven. And while he fought with the angels, he was flushed out of the earth. And since he was cast down here, he had been after human beings. And the Bible says, Woe to the habitants of the earth. For the devil is come down unto you with, with great wrath. Because you know that his time, but he has but a short time. The point is, he has no too much time. And he's angry, fighting human beings, hindering them from moving forward in relationship with God, making them to sin, resisting them. And I want to let you know, we have hope in Christ. Praise the Lord to be delivered, to be free from all satanic agenda. I'm assuring you, in this program, you shall be totally free. We overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Remember, immediately after the fall, God made a promise. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, please open your Bible. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15. There is hope. Chapter 3, verse 15. And I will put a enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his head. Talking about who? Jesus Christ, the hope for the needy. He is going to bruise the head of the serpent. And he has done it. But our God, the hope of the hopeless, even after this fall, intervened and gave us hope again to be saved and recover all things through his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus came by the election of God Almighty to recover us again, to recover everything we have lost. He came as the hope for the needy. If you look at the Bible, in Hosea chapter 13, verse 9, Hosea chapter 13, please open your Bible and read Hosea. After the book of Daniel, before the book of Jewel, you get Hosea. Hosea chapter 13, verse 9. O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me is thy help. Where do we have help? In God. I'm assuring you, God will give you help. 
you shall be free from every slavery and bondage from hopelessness you shall be free i'm assuring you as we pray today of course you can see what has happened already you must be totally free do you believe it so if you look at Joel chapter 3 before after the book of Hosea you get Joel Joel chapter 3 and read verse 16 look at your Bible the Lord also shall rule out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake but the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. Listen to me. In all generations, God shall be the hope of his people. Hopeless people, God shall be your hope. I don't know what you are going through. God shall be your hope. He shall rule from Zion. And I'm assuring you today, God is here to meet your hope. You shall never be hopeless forever in Jesus' name. Now look at Revelation chapter 4. God created you for his own purpose. And the devil can never distort it forever. Revelation chapter 4 verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are, and we are created. Do you know God created me and you for his pleasure? devil can never thwart it. He can't do it forever. Are you hearing me? No wonder. In John chapter 3 verse 16, look at your Bible. For God so loved the world, I gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed that he should not perish, but have everlasting life. My friend, you have hope. Are you hearing me? Through who? Through Jesus Christ. God has made a promise. And it shall be fulfilled. In Isaiah 45 verse 19. Isaiah chapter 45. I read verse 19. Please open your Bible. It see you. You are going home with remedy. Hope shall come to the hopeless. Chapter 45 verse 19. I have not spoken in secret. In a dark place of the earth, I say not unto the seed of Jacob, seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. He see you. You will never be here in vain. There is hope for you. Are you looking for a child? There is hope for you. Are you looking for prosperity in life? There is hope for you. Are you poor? There is hope for you. Are you sick, oppressed, and bound, tormented by an enemy? There is hope for you. I don't know what you are going through. Terrible battle. Enemy before, behind, left, and right. There is hope for you. Maybe you are gone to many places and nothing is working. There is hope for you. He see you. God will bless you. God will deliver you. God will fight for you. God will recover everything you have lost in Jesus' name. He see you. All that have been let loose by the kingdom of darkness ravaging your life, the Lord will quench them like fire. In this program, there is hope for you. I said there is hope for you. He has not called you to seek him in vain. You will never be here in vain. For the Bible says in Romans chapter 6 and verse 23, he said the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is entire life through who? Is see your eternal life shall be your portion. You will never perish. Are you hearing me? You will never go to hell fire with Satan. There is hope for you. How many of you believe it? 
If the Son therefore shall make you free, what do you think will happen? Answer me. Will you remain in poverty? I don't know the sorrow, the tears, the mourning that you are going through. There is hope for you. I don't know who and who that is opposing you. I say, come and make it, let me see. In the very eyes of that person, I declare to you, you will make it. He see you, you will marry. You will have children. You will succeed. He see that business, God will begin a new thing in your life. Whatsoever door the enemy close, God whom I serve will open that door. If you believe me, say amen. I want to let you know there is hope for you. Woman, there is hope for you. Do you believe it? The Lord Jesus said something in John chapter 8 verse 29. John chapter 8 verse 29. He that sent me is with me. My father has not left me alone because I do always the thing that pleases him. And I want to let you know, Jesus has come and fulfilled the will of God in dying at the cross of Calvary. And the Father has given him all things. And all things that Jesus has received from the Father, he will give to me and to you. In Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, 27, he said, all things are delivered unto me of my Father. How many things? From A to Z. Everything taken away by the devil and the fall of man Jesus had collected them back he see you what you are receiving here today shall be all things lost all things lost in the garden of Eden you are recovering them back today authority, power, dominion, blessings, and favor, and victory shall be your portion in Jesus' name. Are you getting ready? No wonder Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11, 28, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy like that, I will give you rest. He see you, there shall be rest from your body. There shall be rest from your trouble. There shall be rest from your affliction. The Lord Jesus has come to give you rest. And you have responded to that call. You are going home with solution. Say amen again. There is hope for you. 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 All the need. Are you in need? My Bible said, Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, But my God shall supply all your needs. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. How many need? Answer me. How many will God supply through Jesus? That takes me to point number two. God promised it to the needy. And the benefit. Immediately after the fall of man, God made plan to recover mankind. And he said in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, the seed of woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. And if you look at what we read before, God made us to know that Israel has destroyed yourself, but in me there is what? Hope. It's see you. I don't know how many of you that have gone into sin and destroyed yourself. There is hope for you. As I repented already, the Lord will visit you to blessings. So no matter the problem human beings are going through on earth, God's promises cover them. And no matter the need one may have in life, the promise of God cover them. Don't forget, but my God, 
Complete it. That means 100%. That means everything lost. Through Jesus, there is hope. Through Jesus, we can get them again. But my God, you are going home with all your need. No wonder. When you have become a child of God, born again, and you live under the shepherdhood of the Lord, you shall never be in want of anything. For the Bible said in Psalm 23, verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd. What happened? I didn't hear you again. You shall never be in want of anything. You see, our testifiers today, those who are so far deaf and dumb, 35 years, 15 years, blindness, 27 years, and 10 years, and paralysis for many years, uh -uh, those five minutes prayer, all of them are rejoicing. Do you see that this thing is real? Five minutes prayer. You see them walking and using the body and seeing and hearing. He see you. I'm not going to spend time in praying for you. I'll make a declaration. Heaven will honor my declaration. Did you hear me very well? Will you suffer forever? Answer me. You will not die in that problem. My father is here for you. He will bless you. He will visit you. He will put laughter in your mouth. Those that saw you years ago, after our gathering today, when they behold you, they will see the glory. Do you believe it? A young man was giving us testimony today. He said he has gone to many churches and became tired. And decided not to go to church again. And gone to many places, all churches. In fact, native doctor recommended church for him. You can imagine that means from native doctor to churches and from churches he resigned to remain in his house because no solution anywhere no solution anywhere and he remained in the house but one day somebody said let's go to choosing Remember, walking on the road, cobwebs. Everywhere you go, they monitor him and afflict him with a lot of attack. And the young man was suffering and being in hopeless. Hopelessness situation. And he was in sorrow. But suddenly, let's go to choosing. Let me tell brethren, choosing is the place. So I want to tell you, when you come here, the power here is contagious. When it contacts you, you become a supernatural person. You will perform miracle signs and wonders. But when you take your head away, you will remain, leave everything collected back here. And somebody else will take it on because he's given to choosing for threefold vision, ten billion souls mandate. It's not given for you to go for for church of Madame Weke to look for money. Church of covetousness. It's not this church. Praise the Lord. He see you. The God whom I serve will empower you today. You will never go home hopeless in a hopeless condition in Jesus' name. 
There is hope for you. 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 Are you getting ready now? I don't think I need to waste time. Declaration I'm going to make you a family. And the angel whom I serve will take over. After I finish now, angel will come to your house. And when that young man said, let me go to where you say choosing people at Timbudi, they said, only strong man of God will deliver him. So he was looking for a strong giant and who can bounce and who can, who can, you know, who has muscles and power. And then he came, he saw a man who does not talk too much. He saw a man who does not shout. He said, man, who does not pray too long? He was disappointed. He said, everything I was saying was irritating him. He was, he was not happy. He was angry. How can this man do it? But before you know it, you are free, you are delivered, you are loose, you are blessed. And he went home. He slept like a baby. Urinating once in the morning. And then cobweb, he said, let me walk on the road to see whether cobwebs will fly in the face again. He walked on the road, nothing again. No more, no employment. They gave him, and they were calling him employment, 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 employment. Amen. After so many, it's a little one walking. He said, I need to advance. Let me go and do my master. Can I go? And he came and said, Go. Your blessing is waiting for you there. Somebody's here. And he went there today. He's a man in glory, man in honor. If you look at him, he's no longer talking the language of poor man. He's speaking high language. I gave million. I gave two hundred. I gave this. I gave this. I gave this. I gave this. Ah, praise the Lord. If you look at it, you know that this man has passed from, he has passed on level. On low level of poverty again. Where poverty can, can make somebody up. He see you. The contact with the God whom I serve. Change the situation. Your contact today with this God will change your situation. There's hope for you. There's hope for you. There's hope for you. There's hope for you. Hope for them. He see you. You know, when I put message on salvation, I put a little message on on you paying your tithes. I was watching your faces. Some of you may be saying, you know, Pastor, you're looking for money. Which money? If I command the money to come to me, it will come. Yes. So I wasn't looking for your money, but I want you to get money. That's why I brought that teaching for you to do what? You to have money. Original. Original. He see you. That message is not for me. It's for you. I was watching people when they are when they are hearing that message. I was watching them one by one. How are they reacting? I was watching them, watching them. I was just reading them one by one. That message is for you. It's not for me. It's for you because. You don't need to suffer if you are in choosing. Let me ask you this question. That young man, is he suffering? Am I going to uh, Netherlands to ask him for money? Who is asking somebody to take money? Who now? Is he not him that looking for pastor and say, take, 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 take? He see you. 
after my prayer for you today, you will look for who to give money. I'm not hearing you again. It's like you are getting tired. Let me round up. I don't want to keep you again. He see you. Go we put laughter in your mouth. All that are mocking you before, they will ask you a question, where did you go? Who is that person? Is it today, tomorrow? Ha! Tomorrow is the climax. Today is preamble. Today is just a day. In fact, whatever we are doing today is just introduction. Is it tomorrow? If you will not be here tomorrow, you better not come today. Do you hear me? Why are you here today? If you will not be here tomorrow, when the Lord will do wonders, and you say you will not come tomorrow, then go. I come tomorrow. He see tomorrow, the Lord will touch you left and right. Left and right. Left and right. Do you believe it? I will hear your testimony. I don't know what you are passing through or you get ready. What did I say? Get ready, get ready. Somebody here, as soon as I finish, the yoke will break your life. No matter your needs, God has answered, has answers to them through his son, Jesus Christ. But my God, that supply all your needs according to the riches in glory by Christ Jesus. How many needs? He see you. I don't know what you are going through. In Psalm 113, verse 5, Psalm 113, open your Bible. Psalm 113, reading verse 1. I mean, 113 from verse 5 rather and I read verse 5 who is like unto the Lord our God who dwelleth on high who humbled himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth he raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted the needy out of the dawn he is see you today. The Lord will lift you up. And he may set him with princess, even with the princess of his people. He make the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise the Lord. Let me find out from you. There was a barren woman that gave testimony today. How many years? Fifteen years. He see you. No matter how many years you are barren, I cancel it in Jesus' name. One thing that is very certain, the Lord will raise you all. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will meet all your needs. You will never die in that need in penury in Jesus' name. In Isaiah chapter 25. Isaiah chapter 25. I read Isaiah 25 verse 4. And it reads, verse 4. For thou hast been a strength to the poor. Take a look. A strength to the needy in his distress. A refuge from the storm. A shadow from the heat. When the blast of the terrible ones is as 
a storm against the wall is see you the lord shall be your strength i am very sure verse 6 and in this mountain shall the lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things you see this mountain where we are the lord will make a feast of fat things for you and take note a feast of wines on the least of fountains full of marrow of wines on the least where refined and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nature he will swallow death in victory and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces. And the rebuke of his people shall be taken, shall he take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. He see in this mountain. This is the mountain on top of the mountain. All tears shall be wiped away every problem you brought here you shall see them no more the lord will take them away even death shall be cancelled if you believe it say amen i don't know what you are passing through and it shall be said in that day look this is our god we have waited for him and he will accept us this is the lord and we are waiting for him he will be glad and take note we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation we have waited for him the hope for the needy today the lord will make you to be glad the lord will make you to rejoice the lord will meet all your need in jesus name so Take note. God is waiting for us to come to him in prayers for all our needs and believe that he will answer and grant them to us according to our request in Jesus' name. I said God is waiting for us and we have come. Nobody will go away the same. He will answer your prayers. I said God will meet your need. God will visit at your very need. He said in Matthew chapter 11, 28, he said, Come to me, all you that level and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In First Peter chapter 5, verse 7, he said, Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Have you come? You will never carry that problem away. You will never go home with that sickness, with that affliction, with that trouble. He see you. You are going home with victory because your need shall be met here today in jesus name in matthew chapter 7 verse 7 what are you going to do now ask what happened i, I didn't hear you very well matthew chapter 7 verse 7 ask seek knock for everyone that asked it. How many people? Which means everybody here must receive something. He see you. Somebody here break through. Listen to me. That has not been recorded by any man. That breakthrough will follow somebody. Yeah. Who is that person? <laughs> Supposing this breakthrough comes and we don't see in the church again. Because if God has blessed somebody, he should use it also to serve God and benefit yourself and others. Supposing after this wonderful breakthrough comes, you don't come again, what do we do? 
We are going to call it and say, what are you looking for there? Continuity matters a lot. If you remain with us, there was somebody here. I don't know how to tell you this story. God blessed him mightily. I said, somebody here, God blessed him mightily. From, from, uh, wait, your own is coming. Now, I'm talking about somebody God blessed mightily. From nothing to something. From poverty to billionaire. Before you know it, this person, we don't see the person again. But after war, he came back. And God remembered him in a mighty way. And God surprised him. He see you. Oh yeah, rise up. That person I'm talking about, that your breakthrough has not been recorded or you take your miracle or you pray 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 Today, you are entering a different dimension, another reign, another reign in life, another reign in life. Seluviana Hukataya, Ranka Lazindelia, Menos Kate Kataya, Roboko Chica Peruskite, Ranzen Jeliko Prescovia, Ranzen Domi Kataya. Lord, have your way. It is time for generational breakthrough, generational breakthrough, generational breakthrough, and favor. Le Zivana Maraca Zidelico Peruskite, Geluvia Caruzian Domia Cataya, Arise Zogo, Arise Zogo, Huraca, Selvia Maruzidelico, pray, pray. Luvana Stanje Ombre Razandu Mikataya Maraka Razandinia Campre Resanje Luvia Maruzin Deli Ombre O Lord glorify your name Bless your people me the need of your people Saruvana Stanje Lucateni Campre Maraka Sanje Ombre Everybody pray Tell him why you are here. Report your need. Present your need. Present your need. Report your need. Present your need. He is here. He is here. He is here. He is here to meet all your needs. Pray, Kali Zijeli, go pray. Rava Kasandeli, go pray. Everybody pray. He answered prayer, he answered prayer, he answered prayer. He answered prayer, he answered prayer, he answered prayer. He answered prayer, he answered prayer, he answered prayer. No, no, Jesus answered prayer. No, no, Jesus answered prayer. No, no, Jesus answered prayer. In 
Jesus' name we pray. You have prayed too much. Your prayer is too much. God is in heaven. Tell him a few words. Just mention your problems. He will take care of you. Are you hearing me? He see all of you. First of all, I declare for everybody here, financial miracle alert. Some of them will happen now. Some happen after the service. Some happen in the night. Some happen tomorrow, next tomorrow. 